bastard, where are you? Okay. One footprint, where are you? Come on, 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 come on. There you are, you little fuck. All right, here we go. Ha. Come on, come on, don't, whatever, fuck it, fuck it. Fuck you, come on, come on, come on. Okay, got you, got you. One, two, three, yes! I got it, I freaking got it. Back off, man! Tim? What the hell are you? Tim, can you say something, please? Because that sick look in your eyes is really starting to freak me out. <laughs> so I finally got my hands on the PlayStation VR, and uh, I can honestly say that I'm pleasantly surprised. I mean, I had some good expectations for it, but the fact that it went above and beyond those, I'm happy about that. And from what I experienced, it was fantastic. Now, before I get into that, I just want to note, uh, the unit itself is very lightweight. I mean, when I put it on, it felt like I was wearing a hat. It, it felt great. Like, I can see myself wearing this thing for long periods of time and not worry about, you know, my neck hurting or, you know, like, just getting tired. It just felt just natural. And also, not to mention, um, these glasses, while not huge, but, you know, like, mid-sized frames, fit perfectly in there. I had no problems with that at all. And the fact that, you know, I think uh, some of the other uh, headsets... It's difficult to put in you know, a certain like you know size type glasses in there. Um, this is just a pleasant, great surprise due to the fact that I kind of need these things. I mean, this just feels natural. I honestly freaking loved it. Um, also, yeah, there was no latency issues that I even saw. I mean, head tracking was fantastic. No frame rate drops. I was looking around. I wasn't getting motion sick, and that's actually something that's very important to me because. I kind of have a little bit of a problem with my equilibrium, you know, uh, inner ear. But uh, yeah, usually with like other headsets, when I put them on, I, you know, took it off. I was like, oh shit, give me a second. I need to write myself. When I took off the headset, you know, after my little experience thing, no problems. I literally got up, you know, I was good to go. I had no issues at all. And this is from a person who does get motion sickness. On top of that, uh, the field of view was amazing. I mean... Not at all that I have to worry about, you know, like a, like in, like to say the Oculus Rift, like there was like a sweet spot, like you have to like, you know, constantly stay in a certain angle or, or like you can move your head around, but like don't move your eyes too much. In the PSVR, I could literally move my eyes any which way I wanted and I could see anything. I could see the whole, the whole, my peripheral vision was perfect. Everything worked great. I'm pleasantly surprised and I am excited due to the fact that if this thing doesn't make me vomit, I'm going to enjoy the shit out of it, and it didn't, so I'm just, whatever. But, uh, yeah, another thing is, um, the screen, now here's one thing that some people really do care about, but the screen does have a bit of a screen door effect, but not much more than any of the other headsets, and, uh, that's pretty okay, due to the fact that, I mean, after a while, when I was, you know, when you first put it on, I'm like, oh, I can see it, you know, you can see a little bit of it, not pixelation, but, like, you can see like, how the screen, you know, obviously the screen door effect, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, it's pretty much what it sounds like. You look into it, and it looks like you're looking at something through a screen door. But after a while, you kind of forget about it, and that's kind of, that's a really good thing due to the fact that that's how minimal it is. The screen resolution is lower than, say, the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift, but it works great. It was clear, I could see everything perfectly, no issues at all, and, um, yeah, the graphics were pretty damn good. I mean, comparing E Valkyrie graphics to like uh, the PS4, at least the demo they were showing, to compare to uh, the uh, the Vive graphics, they're pretty much the same. Like legitimately, like there was no like big drawbacks. And this is actually a big thing due to the fact that people are actually, well, right currently right now, people are worried about that you know the PS4, just the regular model, might not be powerful enough to run you know games. Like people are saying, oh, you're gonna have to you know upgrade to the PS4 Neo. From what it looks like right now in the games that they showed, no problems. Seriously, there are no issues, and I can honestly tell you with a straight face that I feel like the PS4, just the regular model, will be enough to run pretty much any game on the PlayStation VR. And that's a great thing for people who do not want to upgrade and, you know, pretty much plop down more freaking money 
and they have to because the headset's already 400 bucks and that's already a shit ton. Now I do want to talk about the two things that I did uh, play and uh, I only wanted to play two experiences. First one was um, being in the shark cage, the you know tech demo that's going to be in VR worlds. I wanted to experience that just for immersion and it did a damn good job. Like I honestly felt like I was in there. Like you know, I was at some points I was like, you know, like bobbing and leaving like oh shit, I was flinching because it felt real. Again, you know, I know it's fake because obviously, you know, I can tell the difference between real world and you know the VR world. But when you let yourself go and you know you just try to get immersed in the experience, it's very easy. And it's a lot of fun. Like legitimately, I had a great time. The 3D effects was fantastic, you know, water in your face, like bubbles and stuff, like just forming. It was, it was just great. Like, I honestly felt like I was there. And the next one I tried out was uh, Eve Valkyrie. And, you know, this one was more for gameplay, you know, to see, you know, it, how natural it was, you know, to move your head around, you know, play, you know, a game. And uh, also, I freaking love uh, games where you're in a spaceship or, like, you know, a fighter pilot kind of game where you're shooting around, you know, killing enemies. It's fantastic. But, um, yeah. It was, for lack of a better word, amazing. Because it just felt natural. I really felt like I was in the cockpit. There was little to no god rays or, you know, like just like you know, streaking. Like the lights were perfect. Everything felt great. It just looked clear. It ran perfectly. The motion tracking, everything was perfect. And of course, the gameplay was, you know, it felt realistic. When I banked on turns, I actually did this. Something that I haven't done for years, you know, back in the old days and you're playing video games, you know, playing like a racing game, for some weird reason your body thinks, if I actually move my body, it'll help my turn, which it does nothing. The same kind of thing applies here, it does nothing, but you kind of get into it. It's really immersive, I freaking enjoyed the hell out of it. It was just tons of fun, and I can honestly see myself just getting lost in like that virtual game, and just shooting down enemies just for hours. Overall, the experience was fantastic. I mean, the unit itself was, you know, light. It felt, you know, great on my head, fit perfectly over my freaking glasses. Um, it, performance issues, little to none. I mean, I can't even think of any. I didn't notice any, so it, it ran perfectly. And uh, yeah, it was just a great experience. And going in to the Best Buy, because that's where I tried the demo, going in there, I thought to myself, what if this sucks? What if this is so bad, it makes me sick and I have to cancel my pre-order? Or would I cancel my pre-order? Well, I can honestly say that that's not gonna happen. I'm so freaking excited for this thing. You know what, me going to this, to this freaking demo was supposed to tide me over until October. It got me more impatient now. I cannot wait to get my freaking hands on this thing. I mean, for God's sakes, it's only gonna be like, what, three months from now? But fuck, I cannot wait. I mean, yes, I'm dating the video, I don't give a shit, but yeah. Once that day comes around, I'm just going to be lost in virtual reality, and it's going to be fantastic. And if this is the unit I'm using, well, let's just say I'm not going to be disappointed at all. Well, that's the video. And uh, once I get the final product, I will be definitely reviewing it, uh, because I just want to give my final verdict on it. And uh, also, I'm going to be doing a bunch of live streams due to the fact that I'm gonna be playing it a shit ton of it and might as well you know share that with you guys um what else what else if you're interested in it uh if you live in the u.s uh there's gonna be demo there's a bunch of demo kiosks around uh, game stops and best buy so probably look in the description below i'll probably give you guys a link um you know just type in your zip code and it'll probably tell you the nearest kiosk for you to try out and uh you know just seeing is believing with this thing i mean i could pr pr i could pretty much just tell you oh this thing's fantastic this thing's great but unless you experience it yourself because that's that's what you need to do with vr People talk shit about VR all the time, but and trust me, you won't be disappointed. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Ah. And I'll see you guys later.